Oh, I'm pretty fucked up. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked up now. Oh, she used to be pretty, but now she's just pretty fucked up. Now I know people. Change. You're listening to Teen Mom Trash Talk with your hosts, comedian Tracy Carnazzo and super fans. Noel Winters and Gabrielle Fregala. Hey guys, and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. Hi, this is your host, Tracy Carnazzo. <laughs> I'm joined here by my amazing co host, Gabrielle Fregala. Hey girls. And Noel Winters. Super fan. <laughs> you left that we're out. Tra- we're trying something different today. <laughs> we're trying to. Um, I want to be a co host. S- <laughs> You're a super fan. Yeah, why, are, why are we? We are co hosts. No, no, it says co host and, and here, super fan. W- no, it says. And now your hosts, yes. comedian Tracy Carnazzo and super fan Noah. Like Winters Tracy has Gabriel. comedian before her name, right? And then like, you have super fan. Yes, but we're all the hosts. Like I know, your, no, I get it. But like I'm just on your like, wedding invite, it should say Noel oh Winters. No, I don't comma, doubt that it says fan. it on. <laughs> like you know, like Deborah. Like Deb. Yeah, yeah. Put her MBA. <laughs> I don't doubt that it says hosts. No, no, no. I know this. She just wants to be a comedian. I'm just not sure. But why. you're not. Can I be a help aid? <laughs> can I be like, a, <laughs> <laughs> professional student Gabriel for gala can i be a caterer <laughs> and caterer noel winter <laughs> it just doesn't have the same ring to it no <laughs> i guess not you're a super fan that's all you ever were and that's all you ever will be i guess that's all my worth is but you know what you're gonna be soon hmm. you're gonna be mrs super fan i am gonna be mrs oh, yes. super fan we uh we went dress shopping today for noel winters i know we talk too much about ourselves but deal with it We've had a lot of um, (laughs) aggressive messages, which is pretty funny. Um, We've had some uh, men write some aggressive things to Noel. uh, Just very aggressive, by the way. Just explaining inappropriate. Just like what they want to do to her sexually, but you know she's pretty, so I get it. Um, You know, everyone hates our voices. They hate when we talk. You know, if you don't like our voices, (laughs) like don't listen. Don't listen to the podcast. You remember a few episodes ago, it was just me and Gabrielle and I told someone to shove the podcast very far up mm-hmm. their asshole. Yes. Um, it was pretty funny. I don't think they did. She said, I she don't did. think my voice is so bad, by the way. I love and your voice. I'm making it a point today, guys, not to mm. eat anything because I don't want to hear baby pants in the group say that I always sound like I'm eating. So I'm not eating anything today. So if it sounds like I have a dick in my ha- mouth, I just have a dick in my mouth. I'm it's not eating. It's all. not any food. It's that's just a dick. That's all we really asked. That's all. That's all we really asked. Yeah. Oh, my God. Episode mm-hmm. 24 was a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. It was a wild ride for me. That was me. the perfect um, perfect name for the episode. Wasn't it was a good episode? episode. No, it wasn't the wild ride the last time. This one is... Um, what was this? Yeah, wha- What a Ride was episode uh, six. So episode seven was... Uh, what was it? Runaways Rehab and Retail. Well, Ooh. all oh right. Oh, my God. Uh, so I'll read you the description. Amber and Caitlin unite at MTV's Video Music Awards. Tyler struggles with Butch's drug use. Farah and Sophia model New York Fashion Week. Macy and Taylor get an office for their business. Ryan is clean, but Mackenzie still worries he may relapse. Clean like how? Like his house is clean? Clean. He's like, not clean no, right? he is not clean at all. He's definitely on... We said subs the other day. Yeah, definitely. But I, some he, kind of maintenance. Here's drug. the thing: even if it's not a maintenance drug, it's something. Like he's on something bad. But it's not considered. He sober. talks like a crazy person. Crazy person. He can't really make words. Uh uh-uh. uh He is his his eyes are drifting. He doesn't keep them open. That's what makes me know there's something wrong with Mackenzie. That her intentions are not good. Ex- yes, that's mm-hmm. exactly yes. You know. Mm-hmm. They're not great at all. Like no. you know, he's on. He, you know, he's on something. You're not. You live willing with him. You live with him. him. I just watch like a five minute clip of him every week. Right. That's and all I do. Like I don't even really. Sentence. Like me and Ryan barely talk. <laughs> and I know he's getting fat. You don't know him personally. Which is, you no, know. he said he lost weight. Now well, he, so he was saying that his heroin bloat went away. That's basically what he was saying. Okay, but I'm just saying that he looks like he's getting fat. <coughs> he, he also looks, like looks about 15 years older than he is. Oh my god, he does. He used mm-hmm. to be so hot. So hot. He looks not great. I he feel bad for for, for awful. I mean, I guess I feel bad for him because he's not all there. I feel bad for him because he has no idea what he's in for with her. Yes. She's definitely going to get knocked up, guaranteed. 
Yeah, and then they have to have a hair. You notice baby. when he said the word like Macy, how she like shuddered. Oh my right. god. She gets like a puss on her face. Yeah, it was like ridiculous. Like what I put this one through, this one through, this one through, Macy through, and she just a look on her face. It was like you know, Macy was team Mackenzie too in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. That's the crazy part. I feel like Ryan isn't like such a bad guy. I think he just it's if like he was lost. with Yeah, I feel I feel bad for him. Like I, I just I think he was overindulged his whole life and he has no idea how to be an adult or be a normal person. He's like stunted at twelve. Yeah, and I feel like know? if he had a better woman, then he could really change. Yeah. And, but he also has to want to. But maybe he doesn't even know he needs to. No, he needs someone to call him out on his bullshit, yes. whether it be his parents or a wife or a girlfriend or maybe, you know. Well, she's clearly enabling his she's, behavior. Yeah, she's not great. She wants him like that. She's not great. Um, I just want to mention real quick, uh, guys, you should download the Laughable app. Because if you download the Laughable app, if you have an iPhone, you can listen to Teen Mom Trash Talk. All the time. On, yeah, right there. Uh, also, please go to iTunes and give us a five-star rating and review. I want to read a review that we got recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, That just confuses me. And if it's your review, please contact me because we need to (laughs) chat. Uh, So the review, so funny, right? And uh, the person who's reviewing it is uh, Scardy, S-C-A-R-D-E. Okay. Okay. And they say, so funny. I'm so glad I found this podcast. These three are so funny and give the greatest rundown of all things Teen Mom. Thanks for all the work you ladies do. Two stars. It's so conflicting. Okay. Do people not know like five stars is good? Right, so five stars is the best stars, and that's what we need. If you're not going to give we us a five star, we need all the stars, <laughs> all of the. Stars. We need all of the stars. Um, if you're not going to give us a five star rating, don't go, don't go, don't go and give us a four. Don't go give, give us three. Just don't rate it. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to, if you don't like it. You don't have to listen anymore. But I would like every single fan, everyone who's listening. Are you listening right now? Yeah, you are. Okay, perfect. Go on iTunes and give us a five star rating and a little review. Yeah, I mean that's just such a weird. It's like, oh, you're amazing, but... Two stars. Two stars. Yeah. So I don't get it. I don't get it either. It just doesn't make sense, but, you know. Also, we have something really cool. Um, we have a Patreon page now. This is very exciting. I'm really excited see. because it's going to help us uh, to give you guys so much more content, and it's going to help uh, us to be able to provide it for you. Yeah. So we're really excited about the next steps on that, and we had some people already sign up and donate to our patreon do you want to explain what the patreon is a little bit yeah absolutely so if you ever if you haven't ever used a patreon page uh basically what it is is you can donate a very very small amount of money uh you could donate it one time or monthly uh we have different levels you could donate one dollar monthly two dollars monthly which really is i mean twelve dollars a year nothing you know to listen to our podcast our podcast is always going to be free yes that's the thing so this is just for extras yeah excuse me i'm sorry i have such bad allergies Even in the winter, yes. Uh, So we just, uh, we have $1 amounts, $2 amounts uh, that you could donate. And we're going to have extras for you. So you're basically going to be a member of our Patreon page. And we're going to have, we're going to be going live a little bit more. We're going to be having videos. You could also have one of your comments read. You could get a shout out. All different kinds of things. And if you guys have ideas of things that you would like to see on our Patreon let us know. Drop us a line. Uh, we've already had a lot of donations. I'd like to thank uh, everyone who's donated. Amanda Sink, Wendy Haley Kim, Grace Wilkerson, Brandy, Daisy May, Catherine Dolan, and Abby Bailey. Thank you guys thank so you guys much. Thank you so Thank much. you. And you know, a lot of the people that donated here donated on my Neurotica Patreon as well. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's so great. I've been, I just feel a lot of support, a lot of love. We just have amazing fans. We have the best fans ever. We really, I know like everyone says that when they have fans, but I really, truly feel that way. Yeah, guys. no, we have. I had a nervous breakdown last week. Tell and us. And these guys, about my voice, oh, about yeah, that yeah, review. Yeah. And they and lifted you up. You guys lifted me up. That was like a love chain. Oh, my God. You know? They were that not going to let you be upset. That made me hashtag feel tears so for nice. Noelle. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That someone was amazing. wrote a someone wrote a hashtag for you. Tears for Noel. Tears for Noel. It was it was it amazing. Makes me feel a little pathetic, but it was no, really no. really really. <laughs> it nice. wasn't it wasn't for that. It was really out of love. No, we it was really so nice. Much. You guys made me feel so much better. I'm so glad about myself. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to some of our fans. Uh, Kendra Drosness. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Carly Gunther really uh she's a great fan and she got attacked a little bit in our discussion group she did i was very upset by this so here's the thing uh basically you guys can go to uh tracy's teen mom trash talk podcast uh and you can discuss 
It's on Facebook. Right. It's on it's Facebook. A it's, a, it's a group. Uh, if you need any kind of direction towards the group, you could always message me on Instagram and I'll point you in the right direction. So um, Carly wrote something about how uh, Butch relapsed had. Because that's like had. a running joke on the podcast. You know, like Matt, how he relapsed at. <laughs> so funny. And there was another uh, girl in the group, Lauren. She was not. Was happy. not. Ha- she not was like, "This is not a it. funny thing. You don't joke about this." And here's the thing: like every single thing that happens to these teen, teen moms that we talk about is unfortunate. R- of course, drug use is unfortunate with Ryan. Uh, you know, mental illness with Amber. Um, you know, adoption with Carly and Tyler. But it's where our material comes but from. But it's it's everything. All of these things are very serious issues, and we're not saying. Who is more supportive of recovery than the three of us? That's the truth. You know, I mean, we've had addiction in our lives, in our loved ones' lives, and we really do. I don't know if we firsthand understand, but we secondhand support. We're everyone. not judging these people. No, we're, we're, we're no, no, no. Bit, no. We're judging these people. <laughs> they are putting themselves on television yes. to be judged. But that's why we're judging them. They're putting themselves right. out there. I don't just judge a random person. I don't judge somebody over the internet. No. unless they're being a fucking jerk off. And we don't they jerk off. Yeah, today. and we <laughs> well, we don't wish huh. bad upon these people. We yeah. hope that they listen. We hope that. They they, they don't relapse and they get their shit together but but what happened was uh carly wrote that and then lauren attacked her and lauren ended up saying like you know recovery is not a joke uh and then attacked carly and said and your baby's ugly and you're a bad mother i believe she called carly's baby a parasite right so here's the thing wow. which is not even true carly's son i'm is not gonna adorable. listen i'm not gonna block anyone from the group right and not for that i mean i guess you could do something to but that's not what i'm gonna block you for but you have to, uh, you know, kind of like try to respect each other a little bit. We're all here. We're all on the same team. And we're all just trying to like talk some trash about right. the show and have some fun. And if you're going to call someone else's baby a parasite, like make it Farrah's. Because here's the thing. <laughs> she's not calling your man a parasite. You know, no, not your man. I'm saying she's not talking about your man calling him a junkie. Right. She's not calling your mom a junkie. She's right. calling somebody on TV Butch. a junkie. Butch. Who, right. by the way looks horrible 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 the faces of meth terrible he looks terrible and i feel bad because do you remember how great he looked when he got out of jail do i remember (sighs) you know he was a silver fox for a minute he was beautiful now he's Um, skinnier than me it's horrible it's really just depressing but you know they're waiting till he builds the fence well (laughs) go to rehab dad (laughs) dad go to rehab get but hold on so in a week after Mm -hmm. you build the fence Mm -hmm. go to rehab that's what i meant i meant after so how long do you pray tell the fence is going to take to be built? Oh, a week? Okay, perfect. Uh, next week. Don't you want to go somewhere <laughs> after then? You know, it's like Not after now? the fence. Mm-mm. Oh, you're using drugs right now? Okay. So the fence in one week. <laughs> right. Yeah. Butch has more time than he does money. <laughs> <laughs> No, he honestly, he's he's thin and he's <laughs> pale and he's he's he, he doesn't look well. You know what? Freedom isn't good for him. No, it's not. That's what Tyler said. Ty- Tyler's mom true. said that. Yeah, he freedom isn't good for him, but also uh, he needs a program. Yeah. And he's reaching out for help. And you know what? You can't hate him. No, I can't hate you can't, him. No. You just nope. can't not like him. He's saying to, like, Tyler, I'm using. I, he's you know, very honest. He's yeah, always been honest. honest about he has. It. And well, I think a lot more now. Yeah, I agree. And he's also like he doesn't. He's so not as violent anymore. Mm-hmm. Mean, he's not as angry. And he's, he's like, around. Yeah. yeah. He's like, hey, listen, I'm really just having a hard time. Right. Uh, and Tyler says, you know, you think you want to go away? You know, after, after the fence is built. And uh, <laughs> right. he's like, yeah, yeah, I would like to get into a program. And that's just beautiful because he's, he, you know, what? I think he is going to be OK. I think I, he's going to be OK. Really I don't think that he is going to be like everyone else and die from an overdose. No, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. no he's going to be fine. Uh, so we open up the, the episode with Tyler and his mom talking about Butch. OK, what was the fish dip they were eating? I don't know, but I don't want it. Ugh. I don't want it ever. But it's like they're like, Can we have the fish dip and the fried calamari. And I'm like, what? Because I always need to know what everyone's eating on TV. That's just my thing. Well, you always have something in your mouth. That's why, apparently, <laughs> so many dicks. <laughs> but um, I want to know what fish dip is. I don't. I don't, I don't want. want it. Any I part. I no, want, I don't want to eat it. I just want to. know. I don't want to know what it is. I want to not know what fish dip the is. The bread Ugh. looked good though. I just like how I it was like notice. two girlfriends just going to lunch. I know. What did uh, Anthony Di Domenico say? Oh my God, Tyler's five inches. His post was so funny. That was hilarious. He said. 
that his He's dick fi- was five inches away from him being his mom. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, what did Kate wear to the VMAs exactly? Okay. What happened exactly at the VMAs? What it was Kate wearing? Who was... Those what was pants? The, the, the pants, pants? The pants? The bouffant? I have the no word. Um, it was half up, half down. Her, someone said that they make... Her stylist like makes her look like a 1985 country singer, and it's so true. Who is the stylist? Who does her bangs is what Kristen Kennedy really wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> Who does her bangs? Who does her damn bangs? You know, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Kate does her bangs herself. Uh, you know what? Maybe, or maybe Butch. <laughs> um, so, okay. I Those shop pants. sometimes. I'm going to admit it publicly, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that we could, all three of us could admit publicly that sometimes we shop at Forever 21. Yeah. Um, Forever 21 recently has put some things out that I have uh, just not been able to wrap my head around. I'm like, who is wearing this exactly? I haven't been Caitlin. on there. In and you know what the answer is? Caitlin. Caitlin's wearing the it. The answer is Caitlin. Detroitians. Caitlin is wearing the thing that she wore to the VMAs with these pink. Was bad. The pink bell ruffled, bottom, pink bell bottom ruffled pants. Like, I think they are from Forever 21. I just went to the basement and pulled a picture up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, and I Gabrielle's going to post awe. that. Too. I was feeling amber's just just not on amber also not at the vmas the vmas you could be as funky as you possibly want this is want. what i'm saying also the helmet hair i couldn't mm-hmm. i don't i'm not into it especially not with ruth she like, thought she was going to the oscars. i was just about to say amber dressed like she thought she was going to the oscars no she did and i was feeling it but not yeah not her not for that no the vmas i'd be like in a bikini on stage you, you can know? be on a but bikini that's what i'm saying stage. like a tuxedo bikini you can be mm-hmm. um I, oh, sorry, guys. I uh, actually wrote down a quote that I wanted to read uh, from Tyler. Uh, he destroyed my childhood. I need a fence. <laughs> that was a that quote. was a direct quote. That was a direct quote that he told it's his like mom. How I talk about my mom. She destroyed my childhood. I need a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh my god! True words were never spoken. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And uh, Tyler and Caitlin were talking <laughs> about how, uh, as children of addiction, they've built a safe place in their home. Sure, sure. I don't feel safe in that house. Why? Well, we don't see it yet. To know no, 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 not it. that house. Just their, in meaning life. their home, in their home, like wherever they live is a safe place. I remember. I feel like they have such a calm house, though. I don't know. I feel like I would not. I mean, feel they're all the, high on the pot. I wouldn't feel safe in Ambie's house. Oh my god, there's so I'd many. I feel dogs. the safest in Gary's house. Oh, I love. Okay, Gary. honestly, Gary wore shorts and a t-shirt to the VMAs with sneakers. Okay, but guess what? You could. It was amazing. Thank you, Gary. Rocket, also, snap, snap. They was showed amazing. his house on radar online yeah they have all the pictures of the inside of his house yeah well he's been redoing it and it's beautiful yeah and it's the cleanest most beautiful thing ever and i want to live there and i feel like him and christina would be my parents and they would be the greatest people ever yeah like how they were supposed to adopt amber yeah it's very comforting yeah very cozy. It, it, it is a very nice place um macy okay um so we we the next scene of the show is Macy and uh, Taylor in the house mm-hmm. and Taylor has to step outside mm-hmm. to take a um, business call, a business call <laughs> off the diving board. business, business call, <laughs> business call. That's what we're going to call it. Um, okay. So here's the thing, right? You uh, like a lot of other teenagers mm-hmm. <laughs> that I know mm-hmm. sell t-shirts, right? A t-shirt. You mm-hmm. sell a t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had friends like just make up t-shirts and then like sell them. That's the same. I did it. Yeah. Noelle's sold t-shirts. Um, you. That's all you did. Right. They're like, it's doing amazing. The Noelle, when you sold the t-shirt, right? Mm-hmm. You, you drew the t-shirt and then you sold it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, wh- where did you do that from? Like, did you, wh- where'd you get it? Did you have an office with like, right? I had an office top? that cost me $650 a month with beer on tap, obviously. I think that was a huh. WeWork space because I used to work in a WeWork space. I don't know years what that ago. means. Uh, I'm going to explain it for you okay. people that are not normal. <sighs> um, so a WeWork space is a shared. Oh, Gabrielle doesn't know what it is. Either. It's a co-working <laughs> space. And I feel like I, f- I feel like I know what job this was. Is this like something they would have in like boiler room? You no, know what, not at all. Okay. No, no, no. It's uh, so what it is is like you can rent little offices like these tiny little rooms and then you have a. a co-working area with like little tables and then there's like little snacks you could buy and they have like uh free coffee and tea and then they have one beer on tap usually in in the we work that i was in they so it's like on- renting a room in a house 
Sort of. It's not a house, though. It's just an office. No, I'm saying, but that's what it's comparable to. Yeah, yeah. It's like like if you have a small little startup Mm -hmm. and you can't work at home. You know, a lot of people have roommates or whatever. Mm -hmm. And also, like, say you and I were starting a business. We don't want to do it here in the studio. We rent somewhere. We just turned our front bedroom into an office, by the way, in case you were wondering. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. I was. I I thought so. I was wondering. Uh huh. I was very <laughs> so um it's a we work space it's a, yeah. it is if anybody you know wants to give me 650 dollars a month you can rent it out <laughs> i'll give you beer it's not in monaco i'm monaco i'm dying for monaco right now that sounds amazing um but you know it's like how, how many phone calls could you possibly take about the same t-shirt right oh my god wait they spelt los angeles wrong on one of the t-shirts okay so they're in the car and he's driving. Right? Well, I, thought, I thought somebody was. I thought somebody died. And so Macy I. goes, "We have a big problem. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> and I thought there was a murderer in the car. Yeah. If I, I thought, was, I thought Ryan over. I thought Ryan was dead. Yeah. 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 <gasps> um, Taylor didn't even react at all. He's Taylor's like, "Oh like, yeah, what? What happened?" Cool. As he drives, mm-hmm. I would have slammed on the brakes because there's a murderer in the car. <laughs> you know, I would have. <laughs> I would have slammed on the brakes and be like. What happened? <laughs> Taylor was like, uh, what what happened, Maisie? What's mm-hmm. the problem? And she's like, We spelt Los Angeles wrong. And he just like keeps driving. He's like, Oh no. I let Bentley. She's like, do We're it. Okay, but e. that's I let Bentley do. <laughs> I let that Maverick do. made that t shirt. Uh huh. <laughs> Guys, you have one t shirt. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> you have one t shirt. You have one job. <laughs> you have one. <laughs> You have one job to spell. Let's You're right. drinking a little too many beers. If you can't spell Los Angeles, maybe you shouldn't have beers in you your office. You, should <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have a business. Uh, so did you like when they were getting the the tour of the office and they were like, and then we have beer on tap. Mm-hmm. Beer on tap. We're sold. <laughs> and it's like, hey, guys, you're um. so the producers are probably like, uh, we're trying to make you look less like alcoholics. Right. So um, we wrote this storyline how you're uh, renting an office. <laughs> Can you seem less excited about the beer? And That's they're like, okay, okay, the okay. Selling point. Take two, take two. Okay. Um, and right. we have beer on tap. Beer on tap! <laughs> and it's like, guys, you did it again. Someone said okay. they said beer and coffee on tap. Did they say that? Is oh, that real? Know. No, they have coffee and then beer on tap. Oh, okay. Yeah. God, I'm so stupid. Um, <laughs> and then they go on the roof deck. And Macy steps out into the parking mm-hmm. lot. Oh my God! I can't. And goes, if anyone asks why Chattanooga is the most beautiful city, this is why. It's like saying, because you're in the parking lot. Because you could see other <laughs> ugly parking lots. Chattanooga. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of like when I'm on the road in a really disgusting place like somewhere upstate or somewhere like really really gross, like some southern disgusting town, and I get a shitty hotel. And you right. like look out and you're like, I wish I was dead. Right. <laughs> they're so perfect for each other, those two. Yeah, they're she they're, definitely got a boob job. Did she? Yeah. Really? Somebody said something the other day about it, and like the more I look, the more I think. Maybe she got a little lifty. Maybe. I mean, listen, three kids. She, go she, ahead. She had a lot Zoid. of boob. She did. I yeah, you can get boobs. a little lift. Um, so and then we see Mackenzie and Ryan driving, right? Mm-hmm. And Mackenzie's driving, and Ryan's like, You're making me cursing. Mm-hmm. Um, That's what's making you car say. Ryan, <laughs> you almost also you have the too. balls. You have right? the balls to, to be afraid of someone's driving. Right. You're afraid of Mackenzie's driving? Mm-hmm. I was afraid when you were high. You remember when you closed. did heroin and then drove to your wedding? <gasps> and your I eyes remember. were closed the whole way. And you made out with your mom? <laughs> remember when you hooked up with Jen? <laughs> Thinking it was Mackenzie. <laughs> that was this weird night. <laughs> you remember when you fingered your mom? Too too far, too far. That okay. was too much. Too, too much. much. Too That's much. Fine. Um it's just so funny. So they're talking about uh, <laughs> Mackenzie's talking about, um, you know, uh, how she feels as a newlywed. Right. And her answer was uh, sad, depressed <laughs> and angry. Mm-hmm. You know how all newlyweds feel. No, well, I hope that's not how you feel. That's what marriage is all about. It'll married. never be how I feel. I'm going to feel like, I don't know. So good. Happy. Powerful. Now I have someone to reign over. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Uh-huh. Does Matt still listen to this podcast? I don't know, I'm but I don't no. think he should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I love you so much. Do you know um, a friend of mine, Cheryl? Right? Mm-hmm. She started listening to the podcast, and she works with my mom. And my mom said, "Cheryl, should I listen to the podcast?" And Cheryl said, "Definitely not." No. 
And it's so funny because this podcast is pretty tame compared right. to Neurotica. Well, first no, of all, your mom can't handle if I say like shit. No. You know? Yeah, no, no, no. My mom not. should not listen to this podcast. Because we just talk about yeah. her. My yeah. My dad's been dying to listen to the your podcast. Your dad could listen to the podcast. Yeah, I mean, Gabrielle, know. you're so good. He's probably going to be the thing like. Is, they think Gabrielle's the nice one. He's probably going to be like. She's like. Why does Nobel have a dick in her mouth all the time? All the time. All the time. Because Gabrielle brings her a dick every time. Every single time. Um, no, I think your dad could totally handle it. Yeah, it's your dad, you're the your team, and that's why everybody thinks you're the nicest one. Little do they know. Well, you know, I found <laughs> out today actually. Someone commented. Uh huh. Uh, I think it was Chris, Aaron, Christine, right? And she said, uh, she she commented in my Neurotica podcast group, and she said, "Why is Tracy so sweet to Justin Silver and <laughs> so nasty to Gabrielle and Noel?" Listen, the, here's the thing: from the day I met Tracy, she has been an uber bitch to me. Like I don't yeah, know, Noel, same. If like <laughs> I know, <laughs> I don't know. Like I play the victim here, and I'm not because no. I'm so mean too. Like she'll be like, "You're so stupid," and I'm like, "Go kill yourself." Yeah, like we're not really nice to each other, but we love each other. Like, well, that's what bonds you. To. That's the whole thing. Yep. Like, I think that the more you get to know each other, the meaner you are to each other. Right. Like okay, for example, when you and Gabrielle first met, right? right? Oh, we were like so nice to very each other, very polite to uh-huh. each other, and now you know that you guys are very close because yes. Noel uh, calls you names. Yeah, you call her names. Yeah. We I make love fun her. of each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. When I can't sleep, Gabrielle and I are texting at two in the morning. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Like, this is what we do. I Snapchat her, Matt sleeping in the bed, drooling everywhere. <laughs> like, it's so fun. <laughs> While well, Tracy's in bed sleeping. <laughs> I'm snoozing. I also have a new friend on Snapchat. Really? From, uh, I mean, I have a whole ton of friends on Snapchat mm-hmm. from the Teen Mom group, but I have especially been chatting with, um, I believe it's hannah rabosi oh shit and uh she's a doll she's the nicest girl ever so is she like me um no she's nice oh okay i was confused (laughs) yeah no she's actually really nice i chat with a bunch of people but she's uh she's a doll we've been chatting a lot oh cute um guys can we talk about amber and andrew can we yes okay yeah we can so andrew goes and meets them in amber's hotel room right and Haley. Uh, and Caitlin are getting ready. Haley is Caitlin's friend that she brings. Bullsy. That is so annoying. So when I'm very rich and famous, right, I'm going to bring you guys around. And you guys are going to keep your fucking mouth shut because you're going to be around royalty. You're such a twat. Right? You keep can't. my mouth shut? No, but like, come on. Listen, I Caitlin, can... Caitlin brings her around and she's like, oh, I hate Matt. Listen, I was in such a nice place today. And like you would think like I belong there. Like I wasn't trash. No, you, you know, prote- I'm good at it's pretending. Called, it's called act. As right. If. This is what I'm saying. The act best part of that whole conversation in that hotel room yeah. was when um, Andrew said that he lives in a family, a home. family home, a family home with your parents. AKA, yes. But AKA you say it's, you live with your parents. Right. Gabrielle, where do you live? I live in my in my family home. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you got taken away from your parents. Okay, but it, that's like it's <laughs> and you're like in a group home now. Mm-hmm. Like if somebody said like, "Oh, Gabriel, like where do you live?" I live with my I'd parents. be like, "Oh, I live with my parents." I live with my parents in Queens. Right. I live in a family. I live house. in my family's estate. Uh huh. <laughs> where there's a lot of rehab and, and beach. And okay, but he wasn't. He, said? he wasn't no, kidding. It's true, but it was just funny. And that Haley's he said like, it. Are, "Is your family loaded or something?" He goes, "Uh, not loaded, just a uh, smart investment." Smart in- Oh, and she goes, "Oh, smart." And then Caitlin goes, "Yeah, that's great. Smart investment." Yeah, I know. Because Caitlin does Aaron. not make smart Caitlin's like, yeah, no, I know about that. I actually put an offer in a house without seeing it. And I own Tierra Rain and I make the best And I own a, and I own a horse that I never go visit. Yeah, <laughs> ever. That was a good investment. And I have one bang. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she you should bang, invest she Maybe bangs. You should invest oh, in a better baby. hairdresser. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> she moves, she moves. <laughs> Somebody said that you like Old Navy commercials. Did you see that? Yes. Because I commented and I'm like, Tracy loves out of control teens and underage pregnancies. And she was like, I had Old Navy commercials. (laughs) And I'm like, on the money. I'll have you know I learned. (laughs) Okay. um, Here's the thing, Gabrielle. (laughs) You learned it. You sent us a video of you singing it. Very off. Like, you didn't know when to sing. You didn't know when to speak. Like, you need to know the feel of the whole commercial. Especially because, like, it's us. You don't have to be shy with us. 
Like I Tracy did, saw no. all of me today. Tracy saw my thong that was baggy on me. Oh, today. really? Because let me just tell you, mm-hmm. not to be a little bit TMI, but guess what? I'm gonna be. We're in Kleinfeld's bridal, <laughs> big bridal store. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Say yes to the dress, no big deal. That's right. Okay, so we're in the middle of the showroom, and Noel is trying on a dress with a very high slit, and decides <laughs> to uh, give a little peekaboo to the uh, the company there in the showroom of her uh, <laughs> vagina lips. My vagina lips flapped around. Flapped around like flapped. a roast beef sandwich. Are you <gasps> kidding me? <gasps> like a salmon sandwich or <laughs> <laughs> something pink. <laughs> a roast beef. Like a I'm ro- not Olivia. Oh my God. Huh? Uh, <laughs> Hopefully Olivia doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> she, she does. does. <laughs> but I'm mad at her right now. So uh, I was like, oh, Noelle. I mean, you could show me that, but wow! No, I did. I really did. I, I could have flown away. The amount they flapped. It was like uh, it was like are Dumbo. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dumbo you up here. Fucking... I kept forgetting there was such a crazy <clears throat> slit. A very big. A... Sl- there was also a crazy slit in between your legs. There was. There was. There was lots of <laughs> slits going on. <laughs> and this is why my dad can't listen to the podcast. This uh, is true. Maybe you tell him to start like next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just censor. Can it. you just edit this out? Just scream really loud over this. Point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be like, I want sushi. I was going to say, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> Where's Joey? <laughs> <laughs> you I should. Listen, I have to. Um, no, but wait. So, <laughs> so they're in the hotel room. Haley's giving Matt the third. Not Matt. Uh, Andrew the third degree. And right. then um, Caitlin in front of Andrew goes, so has Matt contacted you? <laughs> right. So you know, awkward. you know, the uh, best part, the best time to talk about my ex-boyfriend is in front of my brand new boyfriend. Agreed. De- definitely do that. I feel like her and this new guy have like zero chemistry. No, though. he. Uh, Why does? Well, okay, you know what really yeah. bothered me about Amber? No, she no. was doing shots with. Yeah, Andrew. So why aren't everyone on this show? They're in recovery, but everyone drinks. Because here's the thing: <laughs> when people go into recovery, they stop doing that drug. Like, say, yeah. if I went into rehab for cocaine, right. I stopped doing cocaine. But I can come out and be an alcoholic. That's okay because I'm not doing cocaine anymore. Yeah, but I feel like that doesn't that's, make sense. It's the truth. That's the mentality. I know. Or you get out, and two weeks later, you get married. Right. And then you have kids. Yeah. Because that's what people that just get out of rehab do too. They replace one addiction yes. with another. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. There, there's no. Uh, a lot of people like always joke like that gay people uh, move quickly in relationships. Nope. There is no one that moves quicker in a relationship than an addict. One hundred. Or especially a recovering addict. Yeah. And she took that shot. Kill- that shot at killer got me. Okay. Doing shots. Her right, feet were so right. dirty in that. The dirtiest. I was waiting for someone to post it. Her feet were so dirty. Did you see her feet, Gabrielle? Which scene was it? She the was scene homeless. where she was taking the. She it was, was playing footsie underneath the table. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. had talons. It was. Ske- <laughs> her her toenails were talons <laughs> do you remember that scene in uh my favorite jurassic movie? park <laughs> when the dinosaur comes out so it's strutting across no, the you street. remember napoleon dynamite i love that movie i love that movie do you remember when he's like do the chickens have talons uh-huh. <laughs> and the chicken farmer's like what and that's where they're like drinking the, the raw m- eggs <laughs> and they're How eating great? the Did chicken sandwich movie? um i know what it is i need you to watch it i don't know if i saw okay it. the thing is there's no jokes in the movie and it's hilarious it's so funny that movie is hilarious tina come get your food tina you oh, fat lard he has an alpaca right yeah he has the a, thing is i don't llama. find anything oh i funny. love llamas like trace will tell you like i don't think anything's funny ever like i don't watch comedies matt hates me because i never find anything funny and that movie is hilarious that movie is too funny i we'll love that it. type of humor what are you doing kip chatting with hot babes online <sighs> can you bring me my chapstick <laughs> <laughs> i like your bangs uh, i don't I like caitlin's watch, bangs i need to watch this yeah it's really really good you have to it's funny um andrew looks like a child trapped in a man's body like an old he, man's he looks body. like he's gigantic he looks like he looks he's like a sasquatch he looks but he also looks like he dyes his beard it's so black it's stark it is, and he has blonde tips on his hair. <laughs> I, know. I think they're gray. No, they're I think no, they're blonde. They're blonde they're really? Tips. Yeah, they're like bleach blonde. His okay. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this <sighs> is just me. Okay, when I look at his beard, mm-hmm. I think of a hairy vagina. Oh, valid. Yeah, like that's what it looks like. To uh, me. When I look at a beard like that, I think about making out, and I think about just how gross that is. Because I think about when you go down on someone. Oh yeah, but with a beard, Amber probably likes that flavor her, saver ugh. as i've heard before i can't i just fainted <laughs> her new boobs are so big 
Amber's. Yeah. Yeah, they're huge. They're really, really big. I want her to like wear her hair down more. I want often. her to just be she's pretty. What is she doing? I think she's so pretty, but that hair up all Yeah, but she can put it down because remember she dyed it one million times in one day? I dyed broken. my hair one no, million times her, too. It's broken too. Hers is broken. Hers is not there anymore. I have to do my hair into my roots in ages. Yeah, you should. That's gross. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you look ugly. <laughs> cool. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> you look ugly. The day I try on wedding dresses, you look ugly. I mean, listen, I said your body looked good in them. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. so pretty in all of them. You didn't. <laughs> you should have tried them on your face. <laughs> I should have worn a paper bag over my you face. You should have put the veil over your face. <laughs> they would have looked so much better. I didn't know how a veil worked, Gabrielle. I was like, Tracy, do I wear a veil? Like, how do you do this? I yes. don't even know. Yes, you wear a veil. You wear yeah, a I know nothing about it. Beautiful, gorgeous, long veil. You know, uh, shout out to Lauren Mills who wore a tiara to her wedding with no veil. I always thought about that. Like, isn't that fun? Can I wear a tiara? <laughs> okay, so I want to get a dress <laughs> to get married in, and then I want to wear a white tux for the party. party. What if and you get Tracy your told me that my girlfriend will be there. <laughs> <laughs> if I do that. Hey, honestly, if you wear a white tux to your wedding, I could have Joanna bring a lot of her friends. If to I the wear a white tux to, tux to the wedding, uh-huh. Matt would want to marry me more. Yes, because Matt likes when you dress like a lady. Uh, like Matt a man. loves when I'm a man. Oh like he God. wants me to cut my hair off. Yeah. He wants me to pretend my name's Robert. Right. You know, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> are you Matt? Kidding? No, Matt reminds me. You know what it reminds me of? Did you ever see the scene in Scary Movie where um, Marlon Wayans is fucking? Was it Marlon Wayans? Yeah, what? he was fucking his girlfriend, and he's like, "Oh, ooh, put on my uh, put on my football jersey." That's Matt. And then he's like, ooh, 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 wait, uh-huh. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put on the shoulder pads, too. Mm-hmm. And he's like, ooh, ooh, put on the helmet. Okay, now turn around. Uh, that's Matt. And you know what? That's that's uh, Christopher, a.k.a. Fairy. Yeah. Same thing. Really? They, he likes girls that look like guys. Matt is so into that. Um, I dated Fairy, so that's... Mm-hmm. On New Year's, I wore a tuxedo. <laughs> I wore a tuxedo jacket. Right. With, like, a printed T yeah, underneath it. Yeah, I remember. It. it was very Carrie Bradshaw. It was yeah. very cute. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. And Matt was like, you're such a lesbian. I love it. And I'm like, you're so weird. Did you show him your penis? Yeah, of course. I fucked him in with it. <laughs> <laughs> we did this weird thing called pegging. <laughs> um, we don't judge you. Everyone's gonna hate me. No, well, <laughs> everyone hates you already. Let's, I let's know. Be real. I'm not eating. Still, no, I'm still not eating. Just uh, big gulp. Just a big gulp. Shout out to Maria Miro. Um, so basically, what uh, happened was Matt came to not Matt. Wow, I keep calling him Matt. Mm-hmm. Andrew came to pick up Amber because Amber was visiting. <laughs> With oh, uh, I know. her daughter, her supervised visit with uh with her daughter, with that boo 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 boo. She pisses me off. I can't take it. And he comes and picks her up, and she's like, "I want you to meet Gary." And he gets out of the car, and then like Leah's there, but Leah was there. It was very weird. And he was like, they were like turning her face away from him. It was like they didn't want her to meet him. Right, but that's fine. Then just have Gary come over to the car. Right, and keep Leah in the house with Christina. Right. Like they didn't have a plan. No, it was weird. It was so it was weird. awkward. And then the, the toddler ran out, and like everyone met. Everyone Andrew. ran out, but then it was like, and then Gary's like, Leah, this is Andrew. Andrew, this is Leah. Like a regular person. Right. But everyone else was like, just get Leah out of mm-hmm. here. And what was they, he wearing? Who? Oh, he was wearing very very thin material yellow uh, pants, some yellow pants pa- like a very uh he thought he was being like very preppy but the thing is like he's a chub which is fine and it was uh clinging to his areas yeah oh it was, it was clinging. disgusting it was really weird but um i don't know why gary didn't just meet him at the vmas uh, was this well we don't know if this was before the vmas or after that like we don't know the timeline really no, I think the VMAs were before that. It's just, it really blows my mind how she went like, I mean, like it seems like days from one relationship to such a, to another one yeah. so quickly. Addict, like, be- she's also I'm an really addict. No, no, I know. It is addict behavior. And it's not that I'm nervous about the baby because I don't think that she's a terrible person, but she cannot be alone. Yeah. She oh, no, 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 cannot definitely not. be Def- alone. Definitely not. Like um, after Matt, if I was her after that, Matt, I would have wanted a long break. I mean, I would have th- like I would have probably have dated my prison roommate again. Oh, that would have been. Nice. Yeah, that's, that been that's what twist. they should have done. They really should have 
they should have had Gary and Christina adopt Amber. Yep. And then she could have had a pen pal. Like she had like a long distance relationship yeah. with her. And they could have been like, look at mommy's friend is going to sleep could over. And it and they yeah. make out with the tongue. And uh-huh. And then play with the chickens. Yeah. It would have been very cute. It would be really cute. Uh, whose car was Andrew driving? Amber's. Amber's. That's fast. You think? I don't like that. It's gonna drop me off. No, I hate it. Well, the I fam- hate every family about car it. is still in Malibu with the family house. So uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey Andrew, why don't you drive your family car? So he My mom's using the car tonight, so I ain't driving Amber. <laughs> so he quit this wonderful job right. in LA mm-hmm. to move to Indiana. Right. And not have a job. No, and he doesn't want to be Amber. He also said, I don't want to be in the spotlight. Right. There's no motive here. I don't really watch TV. I don't have time. Mm-hmm. He tells Gary. Mm-hmm. And Gary goes, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway. Gary's, Gary's like, so I fucking roll. funny. I love Gary. So do I. Gary He's my really favorite, is the, the only on the one. He's the only one who has his head screwed on. Uh, Amber also said something else, which a great, amazing quote. Uh, it was a, about Boo Boo. Boo Boo. I do everything to show her I love her. Nothing. You do except, nothing. Except see her? Except see her or speak to her right. ever? Right. Okay. Maybe you buy her an expensive dress for her first day of school. That's about it. Speaking of that. Hashtag my mom. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, speaking of love, uh, Farah was in NYC mm-hmm. walking on a professional runway mm-hmm. with uh, Sophia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. The drag queen. Oh, we we knew. I was waiting for Gabrielle. Gabrielle goes ham about Farah. I know. I I just, it was just fucking bizarre. They were in that small hotel room, and all of a sudden, this <laughs> dr- what? I'm laughing. Oh it's oh funny. oh my god! This drag queen comes in. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, but you're I being just funny. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it to be this like plus size drag queen. And that was very nice of you. That was nice to of say you. That. that was nice. That was the explanation you give a plus a size. Dra- no, I'm a plus size drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> yeah, I'm it was nice weird. Person. It was almost like they had a deal. It was though. so weird. I feel like they had a deal. She was like, I could put you on the show, but you're going to have to like right. blow my dad in Austin, Texas. Far was like, oh, thank you so much for stopping by. And they clapped like when Sophia did. I like walk how Farrah right is nice to everyone but her mom. She really is nice to she everyone. She really is. She is. She she's so nice to her, uh, quote unquote stepmother. So nice, so nice to her. She's Love so you nice guys. to Michael too. And yeah, she, she has been, but she never used to be. She never used to be. Yeah. You know what I think? She's like so relieved that her father is dating someone just like a regular person. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, I do like her a lot. I mean, yeah. you can't say anything that mm-hmm. you can't. The drag queen could not believe that she had to deal with Sophia. I know. She's like, what is this? <sighs> What the drag queen looked like she walked like once and then Sophia just galloped and didn't walk the proper way. Right. Yeah. She didn't even walk. No. She, um, like, she, she like scurried. I couldn't. Scurried. I couldn't deal with it. Uh, when Farrah called out Deb for using her professional uh, initials. Was that that hilarious? was amazing. Okay. That's what you put in your wedding invitation. You know what? Farrah was so on point with that that she had. It was like she was having a lucid moment mm-hmm. where I was like, oh, Farrah is a regular yeah. person. She was like, why would you put your MBA? She's like, well, that's who I am. That is my professional designation. Mm-hmm. That's who I am. And it's you don't put that on wedding invitation. Do you think Farrah's going to put uh, anal porn doer? No, Maybe. she's going to put the most um, the most successful reality star of all time in America, Paraguay, and Italy. That's what she put on Cause something? Because no, she's crazy. That's how she speaks. Yeah, she, she you know? said that she was the most famous celebrity. Yeah, no, she, she's <laughs> like, she's a, she's a word salad. She's a Donald Trump. The things that she says <laughs> is so silly. It's very silly. Do you know that she's trying to support Mexicans? What? I don't know. She's Farris. trying to deport or support? Deport. Oh. <sighs> all right oh. whatever it, you're okay. supposed to it was a joke never mind oh, oh okay. I got and it. she's okay. the comedian on the podcast whatever <laughs> no, i'm just kidding. whatever super fan <laughs> shut your fucking face super fan uh something that farrah said another lucid moment what uh this is a quote to deb you shouldn't be marrying someone to help you heal oh that yeah, was a that good was, one that was deep that was a good one but then she got like super nasty and she was like you need to go to therapy i hate you there's ah! cotton candy on your cookie <laughs> 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 I loved Farah and Sophia's hair on the runway. It loved it. Cute. The little yeah, it was adorable. The, side, it the was little adorable. faux hawk thing. I loved Why it. Why did Deb too. want Sophia to have a tattoo on her head? On her forehead. Maybe because she knows. 
But you shouldn't talk bad about kids, right? Yeah, you could. Maybe because she's disgusting and she <laughs> wants to cover that face of hers. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, Noelle. I need CPR. I'm very cranky. I need <laughs> very cranky you're today, like, guys. You're like, you know, we can't talk bad I'm about tired. kids, right? Of course you can. Well, she's fucking <laughs> ugly. And you the thing is, she's she's a monster. She scares me. They should she have painted her face me. like a monster. And they then should they put a tattoo over her soul. She scares me. Yeah, she's horrible. Mm-hmm. She's she okay. Scary. So now the scene that really bothered me was when uh, someone was asking, like, "Oh, how was your trip with Grandma or whatever?" Right. And then she looks at Sophia and she's like, "How was Grandma?" Right. She's like, "Not great." Right. Why are you training? It's weird, Sophia, yeah. to be mean to mm-hmm. Deb. She's definitely doing. She that. honestly, the girl is so rude. Oh yeah, she's for so sure. rude. She, she, I've seen things like this. This is really, it's uh, Farrah feels guilty, I believe, mm-hmm. for the life that Sophia has, mm-hmm. and not money wise, like as far as like you know losing her dad, and you know her grandma's crazy. Farrah's got to know somewhere that she's crazy, right? And I think that she tries to overcompensate with money, absolutely, and she never says no to Sophia. Right. And I think that that has created But Sophia her is just muscle. like socially, she's like a feral child. Because she's not around other kids. She's, yeah, she's just so, so bad. I want my hair like Sophia's for the wedding. Okay. I loved it. Do I it. did my hair like that for Jen's wedding, my cousin Jen. I love it. I, I love that. Remember? I, did I know, like, I was in the fucking wedding party. I know, but how cute <laughs> did it look? It was fabulous. I do. No, I your hair was super that. cute. Super, super cute. Um, So Ryan can barely make words. He uh, has bad. heroin bloat. Mm-hmm. And somebody so- said you lose weight when you do heroin. It depends. It really depends. I you mean, can get it, yeah, from it, it really too. it's it depends. But regardless, like he's gaining weight now. Yeah. So, but here's the other thing that was really really weird, and this is how I know he's still on drugs. He said, "I feel so bad that I put a burden on you, mm-hmm. on my parents, mm-hmm. on Bentley, and on Macy." Now you feel bad that you put a burden uh-huh. on Macy. You know who? Like it was like they wrote him a script, right? Yeah. And they were like, "Hey Ryan, we need you to read this." Right. Don't worry, we're not going to air it. <laughs> it was like very. We're ins- just doing a sound check. It was very insincere. Yeah, it was really, really, really great. Yeah, and then so so just going back real quick to Sophia, um, Farah said, "Oh, we're on the fence about her." Yeah. <laughs> when she said, "How do you feel about uh-huh. Grandma?" She's like, "We're on the fence about that was, her." That was so odd i don't know this was like a really rough episode for me to watch it was a good episode though. it was good every single episode has been good so far this yeah, season it really has i'm very getting comfortable yeah, i'm very entertained i i'm pretty entertained myself i love it I like i'm pretty it. entertained i like it all right well um i don't know i think that's it and there wasn't really much else to to discuss i know i'm really tired i'm so tired i'm Noelle's so tired. cold and tired you're cold and, and tired hungry. and hungry We're i am starving noel didn't get to eat any snacks during this podcast i did not eat one snack and i do it for the fans oh that's so <laughs> <funny>. i'm gonna <laughs> start posting pictures of the food i've been cooking on the patreon yeah. page gabrielle has been making chef gab has been making some really really fun stuff it's so funny she posted on instagram a story and she posted what did you make uh the, the rice, rice bowl casserole, casserole sicilian rice bowl casserole guys if you ever want a recipe for sicilian rice bowl casserole mm-hmm. go to this chick Call me. uh she posts so should i be a chef or no <laughs> and one of our teen mom fans just went no <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I was like, don't you can insult me all you want. We love you guys. That was funny. Whoever did that, that hilarious. was funny. Um, make sure that you're following us on Twitter at Team Mom Podcast, uh, TM Trash Talk on uh, Snapchat, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. You can follow me, Tracy Carnazzo, at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. And you can go to my website. I'm going to be having some tour dates coming up at tracycarnazzo.com. Noel, where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram, Noe underscore bear 810. Twitter at Noe Girl and uh, Facebook, Noel Winters or Snapchat, Big Chops 810. Amazing. And guys, uh, don't forget very very important uh our patreon page is up we're going to be posting it in the group uh and i believe the link is in the bio of our instagram uh gabrielle's going to be snapchatting about it noelle's going to be snapchatting about it uh we're going to post it on twitter but it is super important that you go to our patreon page um yes. and just you know check out what's going on over there because if you join you're going to get benefits and gabrielle where can we find you you could find me on Instagram, Gabrielle Nicole X, Twitter, Gab Nicole X, 
Facebook, Gabrielle Nicole Fergala, and Snapchat, G Nicole 22. Amazing. And uh, just to let you know, our Patreon page is Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com backslash Teen Mom Trash Talk. So, guys, go check out the content over there. Thank you so much for listening. We really value every single one of our fans, and we couldn't be doing this without you. We Yay, love you guys. We, oh love, you we guys. love you guys so much. Even the crazy people, even uh, the attack dogs in our group. We love your support. Even we the people do. who insult my rice ball casserole. <laughs> <laughs> we love your support. We, we love, love your, your love. Support. And we love you guys so much. Uh, and I can't wait until next week so we can record. We're going to have Anthony D. Domenico on soon. Ooh. We're going to have Maria Miro on soon. Ooh. And we uh, can't wait for these guests to come up. So, guys, have an amazing rest of the week. Uh, thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe to the podcast. If you're listening right now, make sure you're subscribing so that I don't have to post in 400 Teen Mom groups. Thank you for everything. And, guys, have a great night. Bye. Bye. Bye.